All right, so this video is long overdue. I uploaded a um, tutorial showing you how to all downgrade Brawlhalla. This allowed you to view older replay files and experience earlier versions of the game. Eventually, however, Steam had an update that drastically changed the method on which this was possible. I've had countless messages about it, and a few viewers made attempts to clear the waters and teach out this new method with little success. So I figured it's time for an official tutorial. I've also had it requested to just upload the alpha version to Mediafire, so I've done that. There's a link in the description, but there are a few steps I'm going to show you quick in order to get that to work for you. So there will be timestamps in the description if you want to skip ahead to downgrading it yourself. All right, boys, here's the deal. You're going to download first version Brawl. Mediafire link is in the description. What you're going to want to do is right click that, go ahead and extract. Um, if you don't have 7-zip, you can just use extract all, and then it will show extracted files when complete. As soon as you have that done, you'll have your Brawlhalla beta. I'm just dragging this out onto the desktop so that it uh, is there. Now you have your files here. These are going to replace your current game files in Steam, and this is important because you have to launch this game through Steam. So you're going to go to Brawlhalla, you are going to click Settings, and then ma I Manage, Browse Local Files. This will bring up the current game, and as you can see, I've already moved these new files in there. So what you need to do is create a backup of your current files. So you'll call this Current Brawl, and you would drag all of your files out of here into this current brawl folder and that's going to back those up and save them for you so that when you drag the brawlhalla beta into steam which i will show you right now it's going to be ready to launch then you can go ahead and close that and you'll click play this will bring you into the brawlhalla alpha and you'll be able to play around with all of these phenomenal characters that about wraps that up, and now I'm going to go ahead and transition to how to download any version yourself, and this is going to help you with uh, just exploring the game, seeing the updates, and viewing old replay files. So I'll go ahead and jump to that right now. All right, so first things first, there are three links in the description. You will need all three of these links in order to download any old version of Brawlhalla. The first thing you're going to need is the .NET Core framework and don't worry it's going to sound really confusing and complicated but it really isn't we're just going to download this you need to go to this page here and you want the sdk not any of this stuff on the side over here you want the sdk and most of you are going to be on windows 64 there's one for mac too um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to click windows 64 that's going to start our download here going to put that right on our desktop. All right, and then when you have that on your desktop, you can go ahead and install that. I have it on insta uh, uh, installed already, so I'll just click repair to show the installation process. All right, and then once that is installed, you do not have to worry about that anymore. We just are going to go ahead and move on to the second link in the description, which is called Depot Downloader. And you'll go ahead and click the GitHub link. It'll be the first file here, the zip file. You're going to want to click download on that. Put that right to your desktop as well. And we'll go ahead and extract this just like we did with the first file. All right, now we have Depot Downloader here. The next thing you're going to want to do is once you have both of these installed, you want to open this Depot Download folder and then click up in the search bar here. You're going to type CMD. And the reason I'm doing this up here is so that when we push enter, it takes us to that directory in the CMD. As you can see, it says users, my username, desktop, and then that folder. It's just the easiest way to get there without having to type that in. So now we're going to input our commands. Those can be found down in the description or in the readme file. All right. So this is the one we want here. This is for downloading one or all depots from an app. So you're going to bring that one over here. This is what we need to fill out with our information okay none of the brackets or the 
greater than less than signs are needed here. I'll show you how to fill this out. Let's say, okay, Steam has a database that lets you see all the previous versions of the game. And this is where I found all the information to fill out this here. So we're going to go to Brawlhalla. This is in the description too. And we're going to click on, let's get full screen here. We're going to click on depots because we're doing a depot download. Now you have the Brawlhalla for Mac and the Brawlhalla for Windows. As you can see here, we're on Windows. So we're going to click Windows. And that is our first ID that we need, that depot ID. So we're going to copy that. We're going to replace the ID right here with that depot ID. Get rid of those bracket signs. And then also, I forgot, we need the uh, actual Brawlhalla app ID, which is the depot ID minus one in this case. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. All right, now we just need our manifest. And our manifest is the game version. So when we go and we click on the Windows version for Brawlhalla, and then we head to manifest on the left side here, this is every single version of Brawlhalla that has ever been uploaded in the last six years on uh, on Steam. So in order to do the alpha one, I went down here and I copied that um, manifest ID. But let's say you're currently on the current version, six days ago, and you want to downgrade to last month's version so that you can view your replay files. We'll copy the June 10th update ID and then we're going to put that under the manifest ID here. Delete all of the brackets, everything like that. All right. And now this part is where you're supposed to put your username and password for Steam. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, um, you can make a, uh, a throwaway Steam account per se and put that in there. Um, there's really no reason to be afraid of this anyways because it is just using the Steam API in order to log in and download it. So there's really no fear in that. But I'll go ahead and put my username and password in just to show you that this works. All right, and now that we have this string all typed out and ready to go, we can go ahead and highlight that and get ready to copy paste it into command prompt that we still have open from before. So you can go ahead and click in here and then just right clicking in command prompt is how you are gonna go ahead and paste that and just go ahead and push enter. It'll connect to your Steam account and what you'll have to do is type in your two-factor authentication code if you have that enabled. All right, so that went ahead and typed in the code there and now it is, as you can see, downloading the previous version of Brawlhalla. It'll just go through that and when this is done in the depot download folder, it'll create its folder called depots and you'll see that Brawlhalla app ID in there. Go ahead and click into there. And then this is all of the files. So you're gonna copy every single one besides this .depot downloader. That will be all of the game files. And you can go ahead and copy that into your Steam directory like I showed you earlier. And that'll allow you to view any replays, any file, uh, replay files that you need to from any time in Brawlhalla history, as long as you downgrade to the right version. That about wraps up the tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And if you're interested in my content, you watched it in the past, make sure to join my Discord. It'll be in the description. Hope to see you guys there. Uh, maybe we can play some games and I'll start uploading again. Thank you, and we'll see you later.